Do you ever get really lost while playing a horror game, but are having a good time so you still want to see it through to the end? Well, that's exactly what happened to me while playing a game called Horror Story Hollow Seed during my Halloween livestream in 2023. But you see, as an entertainer on the internet, I have a bit of a fail-safe for when I can't make progress in a video game, and that's improv. I'm not the greatest at it, but in the moment, I try my best to form a narrative around the situation to turn what would otherwise be a very boring, painstaking adventure to figure out what to do into an engaging story for you all to enjoy. So although I may have spent over an hour in just this one section of the game, I hope you enjoy the tale of Barbara. In the front door we go. Usually that's not the best idea in these types of games because that's where all the demons are waiting for you. Glad I'm skilled enough at this. Glad I know exactly what I- I would have just kicked down the door. That would have been way better. Ah, uh, now this is creepy. Close the door behind you. Okay. Or don't. All right, never mind. I'm not allowed. Oh shit! Thank you. I was trying to do that. That's exactly what I wanted, actually. We're playing, uh, what is this game called? Horror Story Hollow Seed, which is a game I played on my first ever Halloween stream in 2020, and I felt like revisiting because I didn't remember that much of it. Knock, knock. Come in. I don't live here, so you can come in whenever you choose. Come in! I don't live here! I'm not meant to answer the front door! Well, now I can't answer it. The demons are- Who's out there? That's good singing. Should I run? <laughs> hi. Oh, now I can go out. Well, what a polite demon. Oh, hi. Bye. <laughs> hi, buddy. Hey, come back here. You were trying to get in for so long. You're in. What did you want? I am way too chill. I know. I don't know why. Indie horror games don't really get to me that much anymore. Who's jingling? Hey, you have a key. I need a key. Where is that? Give me that. I need the key. Is it in here? Oh, it's probably in here. Is it above me? Where is this jingling? Oh, is it this? It was that trying to tell me that there was something there? There was the key making noises on its own. I thought somebody was, was teasing me like with a penny on a string, but it was a key. Okay, what does this key go to? There's a lot of locked doors. It could be literally anything. Oh, that, this is the room that the key went to. Good, good to know. Find a holy Bible. Why is that my objective all of a sudden? Is this a holy Bible? I'm imagining no. Okay. I don't know why all of a sudden I felt the need to fend off some demons, but I guess we gotta find a good old holy Bible. Who's opening and closing doors? It's annoying. Stop. Well, I know I have to go over there. I get it. Okay. Oh, hi, lady. I don't have a holy Bible. I didn't find one. I can't get rid of you yet. Could I hop in this hole? What? When did I say that? When did I say that? I don't remember saying that. Where do you want me to go? Here? Oh, this area. Oh, okay. Sure. Oh, there's the holy Bible. It should protect you while you're here. Will it? I don't know about that. How do I use the Bible? Behold, demon. Stay back. Be gone. I condemn you. Oh, I blacked out. Thank you for shutting off my eyeballs for a second. I really needed that little nap. Take the knife, dude. Stab some demons. They may not feel it, but you never know until you try, right? Behind the curtain? Nope. I'm sorry? Did I disrupt your pooping time? I did not mean to. I'll shut the door if I can. You deserve your privacy, all right? You poop in peace. Well, I'm gonna assume her name is Barbara for no reason other than the fact that she seems like a Barbara. Thank you for letting me stay at your house. I appreciate your hospitality. Even though I interrupted your pooping time, I'm sorry. I will not leave now. What am I supposed to do? What is, do I have an objective? Not Uno Barbara. <laughs> This is just regular old, good old Barbara who lives in this abandoned house, really needs some work, but you know, she doesn't have kids anymore in the family, so doesn't really have anybody to call on it. And she doesn't have that much money left. She's gonna keep living her life normally. And you know, this place, it's, it's gonna rot, but if anybody can inherit anything, then they will. Oh, uh, Barbara, you're still pooping, my bad. Uh, sorry, I forgot that's what that door went to. Anyway, I've now just went on an entire tangent and I know no more of what I'm supposed to do. I think I found out what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> Are my friends here? Who are you? Why am I here? I know why I'm here, because I'm an idiot who didn't leave. Who are you? She's Barbara, we know that. Are my friends here? Cool. Where? What's your name? Y? M? Why? Sorry, Y-O-U. D-I- You die. 
That's not your name. Your name is Barbara. See, Barbara's got dementia. It's really starting to settle in now. She doesn't even remember how to spell her name. She is having a rough time. We need to get her some medical attention. You Forget the house. Let's spend the, the money elsewhere and medical attention. Where's Anna? I don't think she knows who Anna is. Are you going to say the same thing? See, she's stuck in a loop. Oh, no. This is going to be such an expensive medical bill. Okay, I think we need to leave before Barbara expects us to take her to the hospital. Barbara, you got a hidden passage and everything? Room? Everything I'm taking, I promise I'll put back. Barbara I promise oh angel that's not my name see Barbara's having a really hard time type the password n g l e l e or e l goodbye did that work e l I'm stupid that was angle right sorry Barbara I really wish I was better at spelling I understand your fault there now you spelled your name wrong twice I get it I did the same thing here Thank you. Thank you, Barbara. I'm gonna never, ever judge you about your misspellings of your name ever again. Hi. Look, I, I didn't mean to spell it wrong. I'm sorry. I, can I... Barbara, I don't want a hug. Or, I, see, she just wanted a hug. See, I could have helped her so long ago. Poor Barbara. She's been living alone for so long. Her husband died in the 40s. You know, she's she's been having a rough go of it. Barbara, are you gonna get that or you want me to? I know I don't live here, but like, I can get that for you if you need it. Barbara, if you're not gonna get that, I'm gonna get that. Barbara, is the phone downstairs? You didn't tell me where the phone was. Oh, there's the phone. Barbara, you left the phone on the shelf? Oh, Barbara, you made that so difficult. You're not giving me much guidance here, Barbara. Barbara, is it too bright in here? Is that the problem? Oh, I can't blow these out. Barbara, you left your ritual candles lit and my breath isn't strong enough. The demons keep reactivating it. We need to put Barbara to bed. She needs to go to sleep. This is too much for me to handle. Barbara, you left all the candles in the living room lit. Can't do that. You're going to burn the house down, Barbara. Look, Barbara, I'll, I'll leave now. What, what does she want? I put you to bed. I gave you your blanket. I gave you your warm milk and honey and everything. I don't know if I can keep doing this. I think I might need to quit my job as a, as Barbara's caretaker. Like, I know she's old and all, but... Barbara! Stop playing this hiding game. I need to make sure you're asleep so I can go home. I've got a life too, you know, Barbara. Barbara, stop crawling on the ceiling, Barbara. Barbara, if I catch you on the ceiling again, I'm gonna tell Amber that you need to, you, you're, you, we're gonna have to put you back on those pills. And I know you wanted to stop taking those a long time ago. I know they make you drowsy and they make you pee a lot. But if, I mean, if that's what we have to do, that's what we have to do. I haven't had to talk to Amber for weeks. Don't make me talk to Amber again, okay, please. I'll set up an appointment. You know I will. Barbara, this hide-and-seek game is not what we're meant to be playing right now. We're meant to be playing go to bed so I can go home. Barbara, you left your mug in here. I'm not picking it up. I'm not picking it up. You can go get it next time you're awake. Next time you're up and going, you feel like running around. It's in the ritual room. The, the second ritual. I don't know which one this is. One or two, but it's in that one. I'm not going to be your maid, Barbara. I'll be your caretaker, but I won't be your maid. Are you in the kitchen, Barbara? I would have brought you a snack if that's all you wanted. You could have just told me that. And we would have been done 20 minutes ago. Barbara. Take a shot every time Barbara is said. <laughs> Guys, I'm out of ideas. I have gone into every room twice. Barbara. Pooping time is up. Hi. That's not Barbara. Barbara, who'd you let in this time? Can I leave now, Barbara? You let somebody in. How did you, you couldn't let me out, but you let somebody in. Barbara. I swear, Barbara, this is this is the last time I'm coming. I'm sending Amber next time. I'm quitting. I'm not coming back. You're not gonna hear from me again, Barbara. If you keep this up, this is, I'm, I'm not gonna come back. Barbara, the person you let in's giggling now. You're never gonna be able to sleep with that kind of noise. I'm leaving. I'm not dealing with this anymore, Barbara. I'll get somebody else to cover for me until we just get a new caretaker and you can give them your shenanigans, but I'm not okay with this, Barbara. Also, your confusing house layout doesn't help. I know that's not really something you can take care of, but uh, it would be really nice if this layout were easier to understand because I need to I, I need to leave and I don't know where to go even though I've worked here for like seven years. Can you believe seven years? Seven years and you're just gonna give it up right now. We've bonded for the longest time, Barbara. We bonded for a long time. And it's just not, it's just not cool for you to kind of leave me in the dark like this. Literally, your hospitality is really, it's really dwindled over the past couple of years. Like, I didn't want to mention it because I know you have dementia and you, you got your own problems that you got to deal with. But like, this has been going on for way, way too long. I don't know where to go. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to stop talking to you, Barbara. You haven't been listening this whole time. I'm done talking. We'll sort this out later. Oh, Barbara, you fell asleep on the floor. You know what? All right, fine. You want to sleep there? 
you go ahead and sleep there. These episodes you're having... These episodes you're having are not okay, was what I was gonna say. I'm dead? Oh, oh, I passed out and now I'm dreaming. Barbara, you made me pass out. That's how exhausted I was after all that work you just made me do. Barbara, I think our journey ends here. Seven years, seven years in the making. This Barbara joke's been going on for over an hour now, I think. 